Um, and now your film is ready to be seen here at Whistler Anatomy of Violence. Mm -hmm. What about that, that incident at the time let you know that this was another of your stories that needed to Not, be made? Nothing at all. I didn't even think about it okay. possibly being uh, doing a film on it. I mean, when it happened, I was in Delhi. So, uh, David, you were in Delhi too. We were both yeah. in Delhi when the, when, I, when the rape happened, the gang rape happened. It was, it was just the brutality. I mean, rape itself, the whole fact is of misogyny and equality of gender, the brutality of this rape was something that uh, that shook the nation. I mean, and it certainly shook us. And, uh, you know, we found ourselves on the streets in Delhi protesting and uh, against what the, go the government, the lack of the government's reactions and, uh, and the police commissioner's reaction. There were thousands on the street. But the last thing that came to my mind, I never, I wouldn't even have dreamt of doing a film at that point. They approached me again some time later, and I said, well, you know, I've been thinking about it, and I think that uh, if I direct something like this, then I would like to do it from the point of view of the rapist. That's, that would be interesting, because then I'd know something that, uh, that I'm very curious about, uh, what makes a man a rapist. I felt that uh, very... Uh, it, ha it had to be very real and organic, and there had to be no artifice about it. And this is uh, a, a story about prevention and the complicity of society that actually breeds rapists. I mean, nobody, um, you know, grows up in isolation or becomes who they are in isolation. Mm -hmm. And there's a wonderful saying that uh, uh, we're not stuck in bad traffic; we are the traffic. It isn't, uh, David didn't say, this is ridiculous, Deepa, you know. I said, okay, let's just do it. I mean, and uh, so we did. And it. hopefully the financing will come later, but it never did, so. <laughs> so they, on every film that I've done, subjects that I, I'm curious about, that I'd like to know more about. What happens when two women in a joint family in India decide that, that, that they need to be, you know, they become lovers? What, what what's the, fallout of society. Mm -hmm. So whatever, what happens with sectarian war, what happens when, or what happens to friendship, or what, you know, so it's curiosity. No, I didn't. Wait. What makes the Whistler Film Festival unique? What makes the film festival unique? This is my first time here. So uh, what feels really nice, it feels, uh, from the minute we landed, not landed, drove in, uh, it's different than Sundance. I mean, I thought it would be similar. Uh, it's sort of, the, it's more personal. It's, um, it feels uh, Canadian, which is wonderful. I mean, I, I've started to realize since the elections how wonderful it is to be a Canadian. And uh, there's something unique about this festival because it's warm, it's inclusive, uh, and it feels uh, quintessentially good. And I think that's Canadian, isn't it?